Picking the right golf ball for your swing speed is one of the easier ways to improve your scores. It's not going to magically fix your game, but it is something that could lower your scores by a few strokes. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the best golf balls for people with slower swing speeds. So what we're going to be talking about are what balls are the best for slower swing speeds, what makes each of them good golf balls, which ball is right for you, and also the cheapest place to pick them up. So if you do want to check out or see a demo of any of them, then be sure to check out the full review and demo down below. It's hard to say which one's going to work best for you or which one's going to give you the most distance because everyone's swing is slightly different, but all of them are great golf balls and you can't really go wrong with any of them. The best thing to do would be to give them a try and see for yourself. But before we do get started, I just want to mention our gear giveaway. If you want to enter in, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment giveaway down below, do those three things to be automatically entered. So number six is going to be the Titleist Tour Soft Golf Ball. So if you are a fan of Titleist golf balls, then these could be the ones for you. They are a little bit more expensive than other balls on this list, but if you're fine with that, these should see your game really well. If you're a beginner or higher handicap golfer, then you're probably going to go with something else. But this is a softer golf ball that offers great distance and respectable spin. It's pretty similar to the Strix and Soft Feel if you, if you ever use those, um, but they are slightly longer for me. They weren't the most forgiving balls out there, but they were still pretty good in my opinion. The one thing I didn't really like about them was, and this kind of goes with other Titleist balls, is the durability. They didn't tend to last very long if you make solid contact with your hits. They would get nicked up every round, and I, I know a lot of people won't want to replace their balls that often, but I found these to be pretty similar to the Pro V ones as well, but they are cheaper. So if you are a scratch player, you might find a difference, but for everyone else, um, myself included, I really didn't notice much of a difference. But I do know people who have faster and people who have slower swing speeds who use these balls, and they do love them. So they could be a great ball for you if you do like Titleist golf balls. Number five is going to be the Bridgestone E12 Soft. So if you are a fan of Bridgestone golf balls, then, then these might be for you. They're reasonably priced, so they're about 2 bucks per ball, and their distance is top notch for people with slower swing speeds. They're not going to be best if you're a lower handicap player, but for everyone else, they're going to do the job just fine. The main goal with them is to be straight and long, and that was definitely the case after trying them. I think they're going to be the perfect ball if, like, if you're a senior player, just because they do launch high and are straight, which is going to help with distance overall. But the first thing that could be an issue with these golf balls is the feel. So they are a bit softer um, of a ball that's going to take away the feedback on miss hits and it can sometimes feel a little bit mushy. Some people do like that, but some people definitely don't. The second thing was the shot shaping. So they are really straight, which makes them not the best if you want to draw or fade the ball around. Other than those two things, these golf balls were awesome. If you just want to hit the ball far and keep it in the fairway, these could definitely be right for you. Number four is going to be the Noodle Long and Soft Balls. But one of the more overlooked golf balls on the market is the Noodle. And it is a cheap ball and a lot of people think they are cheap because they aren't very good. But that's not the case at all and I actually really enjoy hitting these balls. If you are tighter on a budget and have a slower swing speed then you might want to give these a try. They aren't the longest balls on the market if you have a faster swing speed but they're extremely forgiving which is going to help a lot of mid to high handicap players. So most of the time when you hit the ball straighter you're going to get more distance out of it and that was definitely the case with these. They don't have the most spin and they aren't the easiest to shape like drawing and fading but most people don't even need that anyway. They are priced under a dollar per ball and that makes them one of the best bang for the buck balls out there. So if you are just an average player and want to hit it long and straight, to give these balls a try, I think you will enjoy hitting them. Number 3 is going to be the Wilson 50 Elite. So another overlooked but awesome golf ball is the 50 Elite from Wilson. I found them to be very similar to the noodle balls but I like them slightly more because of their performance close to the green. So the distance, price and forgiveness are great on these balls so it's pretty similar to the noodle. But I found them they had a bit more stopping power on the green which can definitely help you out. They are a softer ball that is good for people with slower swing speeds and they don't take much force to compress them which is really good as well. I believe they're you know, a, a 50 compression ball which is you know where the name comes from but they're also pretty durable as well and the average person should get a number of rounds out of each ball you know if you don't actually go out and lose them. So they aren't going to be the best if you're a, you are a better player just because you're not going to be able to shape them as well as you'd like. You know, there's not going to be as much spin and they're probably going to be a bit too soft 
But for everyone else, if you're just an average player who doesn't want to spend a fortune on golf balls, um, but you still want something that's going to perform well, these could be the ones for you. They're probably my favorite ball in this current price range, which is like under the under like the the, the dollar range, kind of somewhere around there. Number two is going to be the Shrixen Soft Feel. So these are my current favorite golf balls, and I find them to be one of the more complete golf balls for my own swing. They're reasonably priced, uh, feel pretty solid, and last a decent amount of time and perform really well in all situations. So they don't have the most spin, they're not the longest, and they aren't the most forgiving, but they are in the top three for all those categories for me. A buddy of mine works in a golf shop, and he's always saying that these balls are sold out fairly quickly, so a lot of people do like them. The first time I used these balls was I actually found one in the bush, so I, I lost uh, a few balls. It was by like the six hole or something like that. But I ended up using these balls. Um, I, I found one and ended up using it, and it actually lasted me the rest of the round. From that point on, I've been using these balls and I've loved them a lot. But if you're like a better player, uh, you might not like these as much as something else, but they're great for the average golfer. They do have good distance, respectable forgiveness, and a decent amount of spin around the green. So I would definitely recommend you check them out. But the final ball is going to be the Callaway ERC Soft, and I will just mention these are in no really specific order, so I'm not saying these are the best. Um, I'm just they're kind of in a, in a random order, so kind of go based off whatever you're, you're you're kind of looking for. But if you do like softer balls from Callaway and want the ones with the most distance, this one's going to be for you. They're going to be great for people who have slower swing speeds, don't drive the ball too far. I would say maybe like under 220 yards, and have a bit of curve to their shots. They're a bit more expensive than the Shrix and Balls, and I don't actually use them myself, but I do know a lot of people who actually do use them and love them. I don't use them because the Shrix and Balls, they, they do suit my game a bit better, and they are cheaper as well. But these balls are great if you want a slightly straighter shot, and that's something that can improve your distance. They're also the most forgiving golf ball from Callaway, and you know, who really couldn't benefit from that? But a lot of people who have using these balls, they switch from like the chrome soft or the super soft balls and they switch to these balls they're a bit cheaper and they perform just as good if not better so why not give them a try but if you would like to see more images or demos or like reviews or get any of them for the lowest price available click the link in the description down below at the time of making this video that was the cheapest place i could find them so you can go ahead and check out the current price if you want and if you do have any questions, just simply leave a comment down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But if you haven't already watched and commented on our latest video, click the video card to the left and get yourself another entry into our golf giveaway.